All right, guys, so now we're going to do uh, skin in the head for an artificial bill. Um, to answer a couple questions, if you're watching this, for a few comments, when you're making the mold on the heads, um, generally the best thing, if you're trying to avoid bubbles, this is a buff, obviously, is as you fill it, you can bounce it against the hard surface. And then also, say like on a wood duck or something with a big... Um, you know, with lobes that could possibly, uh, you know, trap some air. You, you can just kind of like, don't touch the sides because the baby powder's on there, but you can just kind of work it in and out, and then that'll kind of press press that material in some of those little crevices. Don't touch it because then you'll rub the baby powder off and then it will, it'll stick a little bit harder to the side. But with this, and then if you need, then if you just like on a wood duck on the top with a yellow, um, anyway, or you can just kind of lightly bump it against the table but normally I'll just kind of take a stick and kind of press it in and out, in and out, and then that kind of creates that do-do-do. But anyway, so we're going to do the king of the ducks here, Mr. Canvas Back. So what I do is first I'll start at the top V. There we go. Get a focus here. And so you can do it from top to bottom, or you can do it uh bottom to top i kind of like bottom to top because i could kind of you know work it a little bit um get that and then i'll kind of just cut the front here then i'll get my because i'm just trying to get the front um separated because once you can you can kind of peel it back a little bit and you're generally always going to have your finger uh, holding it and pulling it back. Then I'll go to the bottom. Same kind of deal. You can do uh, that way. This you just want to make sure you don't cut past and you, you create a place that's going to rip because then and then you create a whole new set of problems that you didn't really need to. Um, same thing here. Get it separated. Kind of work it a little bit. I'll just kind of lightly cut here. Now I will. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep this as clean as possible. So I know how some people are, but... Um, again, if you're watching the freaking how to skin a duck head out and not expecting to see some blood, man, I don't know why the hell you clicked on this video. Um, I, try to t I try to open it up because, especially with this, so I try to separate it out so I, I know that um, I'm cutting right up against the bill. But going underneath, I'll go and go around. I'll try to keep the little um, the little cheek, not the cheek, but the uh, right here is what I wanted to show mainly. And so this right here, there's a little V. So I want to make sure that I keep that because an artificial bill, it's normally pretty pronounced. And so what I'll do is I'll just work around the little edge of the mouth. And you can see it kind of popped free there. And then as I pull this bottom back, um, I'll go to where the V is, and now I'll kind of work it. So now this is open, and then I'll kind of pull that down. I'm going to put my finger behind it, pull down with the other thumb. And that seems to be a lot of the problem that people have is, is manipulating their hands to, uh, to kind of create tension. And that's super, super important because... Without tension, you're not going to know exactly where to cut, and without knowing exactly where to cut, that's just going to lead to <laughs> inevitable mistakes. But um, Okay, so same thing here. So now I'm just going to kind of work that V, work around that little uh, um, I don't know what do you call it. It's like just that little, little ring right there. And if it's if stuck at all, just make sure you cut. Make sure you're not gonna you're cutting anything that's gonna cause it to potentially tear in the foreseeable future. Keep that kind of tension on the skin, and then you're just kind of working around, just like you're tracing tracing a picture. You know, try not to cut whoop, way back far because then that's gonna as soon as you start putting tension on it, you're gonna have all kinds of rips and and you're just making a lot more problems for yourself in the future. So then here, 
as I get this kind of separated now, now I'm going to go underneath. Every duck's going to be the same. Go underneath the V here. And I need to set just tension, tension. Go underneath. Separate here. And then now I'm just going to kind of get my fingers so I can tell that there's a few cuts I need to make up here, like so. And I'm just looking for skin just like that. And then down here, same kind of thing. I'm just, you know, gently working it. And you'll want to have the, the mouth open because if it's closed, it, you know, if it's, if it's open like this, now I'm putting some tension. Now I can kind of see if it's closed, it's a lot harder on the bottom part to get it to kind of where you can see the, the, uh, hell, I don't know, the, uh, the film or the fascia. So and now I'm just kind of trying to find it, uh, trying to find a way here to, like I said, so I kind of know where the skin's at. That's the main thing is, and again, on like all this stuff, you can always, you can always cut um, a little extra and scissor it off or, or flesh it off as opposed to cutting it not enough and then having a hole or a tear to deal with. So it's, al it's always better to err on that side, but... Um, Try to let it focus here for a second. So then now I'm just trying to, first thing you'll get to is the eyes. And I'm just trying to, trying to get the focus. I'm just trying to get, so just keep peeling back, because the eyes you're gonna kind of cut a little, you know, the skin line may be right here. Let me see if, uh, Let me see if this helps a little bit. If I do it out here, maybe. So now I'm just kind of, so I'm just trying to peel back. Just trying to peel back and just try to get, um, so the problem that you'll run into is on a, uh, Widgeon, you know, here you can kind of, you can see I can work my finger down in there. Um, and I'm just trying to, any part of skin that I can see. Um, normally you can put a little bit of pressure on it. You always want to be careful what kind of experience that will come with it. And, uh, and then the other thing I'm going to do soon is I'm going to, I have these two videos here I'm going to upload. I got another one I'm going to do for supplies because that's kind of a common thing. Um, different supply catalogs, what you should order, or I should say what works best because um, I think there's a lot of kind of misconceptions about that and people are spending a lot more money than they need to be. But um, once I kind of get it sort of where the eyes, you can kind of see here where the eyes are kind of halfway done, I'll try to grab it like this, like he's biting my finger, and I'm just making like a, a little ring and working it back and I'm trying to get it to invert. Now that I have it inverted, now I'll keep that tension, open the eyes up. So now I know there's the, the muscle on top of the head and I don't want to cut here where the skin's at because uh, you want to kind of cut a little higher and that's because you want to obviously have that eyelid and the uh, so now I can see the eye. So now I know, okay. So now I could kind of pull that away from it. And now I'm just cutting straight down into the bone. And I'm just kind of cutting that back, cutting that back. So now the eye separated. Now there'll be the ear down here. So just kind of cut high, same thing. It'll expose the, uh, the ear. And obviously once you do that, you're good to go. Same thing on this side. Put some tension, cut a little higher. I'm always trying to pull back, pull back. I can see the eye, eye ring now. So now I'm just kind of getting my finger just on the other side of it so I know that I can't uh, cut. 
I know that the ear is coming up because you can see the V. So I know that the ear is kind of, so now I'm just cutting, boom, there's the ear, it's free. Now I'm just going to kind of make a few last little cuts on the film. And now I just, the same thing as before, make my little ring and kind of just grip and grip and pull, grip and pull, boom, out it comes. And then now, so then now we have our head. So now if you need to mold it or whatever, you know, get it, um, you know, pin it closed, obviously cut it back, you know, back here and you can make a mold if you need to. Um, turn this back inside out and then I'll get my finger. I'll kind of work it, work it up here. I'll try to get my finger on a, on a you know, batch of feathers, something I could kind of feel a grip. Just kind of hook it, bloop, pull it through, and then now we're back to where uh, where we were when we did the wings in the previous video. So same thing here, just just a little borax, just enough to kind of rub it in the the tail and the wings, and then I'll invert the wings and the tail. So anyway, I think that was a good one because that was a bigger head. Um, so just the two things. Um, oh, so on a widgeon or a gadwall or a green wing teal, stuff that's kind of tight, When you, pretend this is an artificial, obviously. You have your clay, you're pulling the skin up, right? And this, it'll oftentimes bunch. So what you're going to want to do is on the skin... Because the skin will be here, it'll be too tight to pull over because you have the clay that it's tight fitting anyway. So you're gonna make I just wanted to visually show this so you know. So when you make a cut into the skin, it's right at the bottom, basically where this bone's at. So right under the V and at the corner of the bottom V. And you'll make like about this far of a cut, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. And what that'll do is that'll kind of Relax the head a little bit. Do that on the non-show side. So if it's facing this way, obviously cut cut the other side. And then it may rip a little bit more as you're kind of pulling it. But you can glue that back together. Because um, sometimes if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to get the skin over the head without uh, pulling and pulling. And you're going to end up ripping or pull, uh, uh, pulling feathers out are doing way more damage than you would have done by just making a little slit. Because with a little slit, it, it may end up, you know, coming back, say, ripping to here, or, you know, around that, you know, quarter of an inch. But you'll be able to get the skin over, you'll be able to connect it. It's not on the show side anyway, and that way you're, it'll fit over. But just a quick little thing to mention, because I know a lot of people have to have problems with that. And... Um, I would, you know, I don't know if people are doing the relief cut is what it's called, but, um, you know, man, it, it makes your life a thousand times easier. So anyway, um, so that's the videos for now. Like I said, if you can, if you haven't, please subscribe. I mean, we got a lot of videos with a lot of views. Um, it, you know, it really helped me out. I'd really like to hit that thousand so I can live stream. Um, and, uh, and then that way I could just, we could all interact throughout the day and like i said most i might just like days like today might just turn it on boom and they just do like this and just work and just talk to people and then if anybody's got questions about whatever um it may be about you know making heads or prepping bodies but i, I can uh you know interact a little quicker so anyway guys uh that's about it and the next one will be flushing on the machine and uh so that should be a uh, whole hell of a lot of fun, but it'll be uh, interesting <laughs> nonetheless. Um, but anyway, so, all right, guys, appreciate it.